today's very exciting. I mean, we have so many great teams, we have so many great students, it's fierce competition, and we're seeing some pretty cool stuff. I'm very excited here. Aren't you nervous? You know what? I, I don't think I am. I mean, we've, we've got a lot of great teams, and everyone's offering to help out other teams. Uh, it's very friendly, but at the same time, you can feel that competition in the air. I don't think there's anything to be nervous about. I mean, it, the teams are all pretty great. Now, they say today's kind of a practice warm-up day, but you are still being great, aren't you? Um, well, yeah, I mean, today I helped another team uh, update their robot. I was helping some other teams do some other stuff. I mean, today is a practice day, but it's about helping other teams and making sure everyone's ready to go on a competition day so that we have the best possible day we can have. How close is Felix to liftoff? Felix is ready for liftoff right now. We were doing some pretty cool stuff on the practice field earlier. We're just uh, making sure it's going to be in tip-top shape as soon as we get on there. If somebody who was a layman said you, why is this important, what would you tell them? First is important because it brings a lot of students into STEM, into their, their uh, career choices that they might not have known that they wanted to pursue. I mean, there's been so many people that have joined our team and figured out, oh wait, I want to do engineering, I want to do film, I want to do writing. It, it helps people figure out what they want to do because it's like real life. You get real life experience and you uh, get to feel the intensity of competition. some of the most talented kids, determined kids, do some really cool things in STEM and have a lot of fun while they're doing it. So these robots out here, they all do different things, but they do it very well. But more importantly, the kids are having a great time. What does FIRST get out of this? Well, we get a lot of satisfaction out of knowing we're letting kids have a great time, a meaningful time doing things and making them uh, do things that are they find very useful for their future careers. Uh, I really prefer to see the kids out here doing this type of thing as opposed to home watching TV, for sure. Do the challenges get more integrate, more involved every year, or is it, do you set a certain level and say, okay, because we're not expecting them to uh, reinvent the wheel, so to speak, but do they get more difficult from year to year? I would say they do, but it really depends. It's really hard to know when FIRST designs a game. There's so many factors that could make the game harder or difficult. This year, I think the game is a bit more difficult than it has been in previous years. It looks easy, but it's pretty hard to get a robot to do, to stack and to carry those totes. So it, it changes from year to year. Uh, first tries to make it challenging every year. And the, finally, the fact that this has become such a major league event, it really is, you know, the NFL, the NHL of Brainiacs, as I call it. Oh, for sure. These, there's a hundred of these competitions around the world. We're so happy to have one in North Bay. And what you're seeing here is the best of the best.